Hello everyone, Paul here at Broken Arrow Farm. We're a small diversified farm located in Northeast Wyoming. We have several smaller enterprises within our farm with emus being one of those enterprises. So what do we feed our emus? Now I know if you look on a lot of forums and websites and stuff like that, excuse me, there's a rooster over here that's getting a little loud, along with a guinea. Definitely in the barnyard. Now if you look on a lot of forums, a lot of websites, they're gonna say, well, just buy the already made emu feed, the pelleted feed that comes in a sack, in a bag. Well, where I live, that's not available. I've looked into it. There's actually a mill an hour and a half away from us, a Hubbard mill that makes feed, and they said they would need a minimum of 10 tons of feed in order to uh, fulfill my order. And I don't know about you guys, but I know for me with our five emus, they're not gonna eat 20,000 pounds of feed in a year, so that wasn't effective for me. So I kinda, I reached out to some other breeders, to the breeders that I bought some of my stock from, and kinda figured out what they were feeding their emus. And these emus here are three years old, so they've been eating this ration their whole life ever since they've been here on the farm and prior to the other breeder that was feeding them pretty much the same ration as what I'm feeding them here. So it's a, it's a mixture of uh, some different feeds here. I'm gonna show you what it looks like here in their, in their feed pan, and then we'll go look in the barn and I'll show you how I mix it up and what I mix up. So right here down here is a mixture, a pre-made mixture, a special ration that I have made for our laying chickens. So it's a laying chicken mixture of feed, which goes into the emu feed mix. So I'll show you what's in this mixture so you can make your own mixture like this for your emus, your chickens, or whatever. So this is a bulk bag here with this custom made mix in here. So in this mix, there are the chicken layer pellets, the cracked corn, very important to make sure it's cracked so they can digest it. Uh, black sunflowers, along with some wheat, and then there's also some oyster shells ground up in there as well. So I like to use, I like to mix this up in a, in a tote or in a bucket for the emu so it's ready for all week or a couple of weeks. So this is the first mixture here. So I do half of this right here. And like I said, you can make your own mixture utilizing the sunflower, the black oil sunflower seeds, the layer pellets, the oyster shells, the wheat and the cracked corn. The wheat is probably optional, but cracked corn probably for sure, because they need corn in the, in the winter time to maintain their body condition. So I do a half of this. All right, so I'm just gonna do half of that mixture I just showed you right there, that custom made mix, which like I said, you can make yourself with the, the layer pellets, the cracked corn, the black sunflower seeds, kind of mix that all together equal parts. But this is that custom mix I get, so I'm gonna dump this uh, two of these five gallon buckets into this tote right here, this tub. Now I like to go a quarter and a quarter on the next two ingredients here. So rabbit pellets, just an alfalfa based rabbit pellet. These are 18% rabbit pellets. So I'll do a quarter of these. So I'll mix one quarter of these rabbit pellets into this mixture. So that'll be one five gallon bucket of the rabbit pellets. So the last ingredient here is cat food. This is 30% protein cat food, so I'll use one quarter of this in the mix as well. So for my mix, it's one five gallon bucket. So now that I have all of that into this, this container right here, this tote right here, I like to go ahead and mix that up obviously so everything's stirred up and ready to go. So I got this feed all mixed up here, so this is ready to go for them, all pre-mixed. So every ingredient that I just talked about right here, you should be able to find locally at your 
feed store or uh, your farm or ranch store or something like that. Something else I like to do this time of the year is top dress their feed with what's called Rooster Booster. Just got a little more vitamins and stuff like that in it to help them through the breeding season and through the winter time. You might not be able to find this locally. I gotta order it online, but not a big deal. Everything else I can find local. So making my own emu food here on the farm. All right, so there was a look at what we feed our emus here on the farm, just utilizing the resources around us since we cannot find the commercial made emu food. Like I said, they have maintained on that for about three years here and are doing good on that, on that food. Now, if you guys got any questions about this, go ahead and drop them in the comment section down below. If you like this, go ahead and boop the like button there. And if you have not did so already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. I'm gonna go ahead and post a video right here about our first emu egg here on the farm this season. So go ahead and check that out. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.